discover the $300 million Kamasi International Airport before Tamil International Airport, Kamasi Airport, which serves Kamasi, the capital of the Ashanti region in Ghana, is the busiest municipal airport in Ghana. Kamasi is roughly 3.5 kilometers from the airport. Although approval was gained in 1940, the documentation for land acquisition was not finalized and paid for until 1947. Kamasi Airport, on the other hand, had been finished by 1943. The Ghana government invested heavily in the runway, navigational infrastructure, and personnel resources in 1958 and 1959 to improve internal airline operations. In the late 1970s, the Kamasi Airport saw another major upgrade with the installation of runway and taxiway lights, as well as the extension of the main runway to the southern end. While the lights improved night operations, the runway expansion allowed short-haul planes like the F-28 to fly. The renovation effort was finished with the construction of a new terminal and the installation of a VOR, DME, which was commissioned on December 1, 1993. Kamasi International Airport was designated as an international airport in 2003, primarily for regional operations, with full security, customs and immigration employees. The freshly renovated runway with aeronautical ground lighting systems was inaugurated in December 2014. Domestic airlines were able to start operating at night as a result of this. The airport's master plan is currently being studied. Additional parking aprons, runway expansion, and the construction of a new terminal building, all of which are expected to cost around $300 million, are among the projects planned for the next phase. Stay with us as we take a tour through the Kamasi International Airport. Kwaku Afori Ejima, Ghana's Minister of Transport, has announced that the ongoing Kumasi International Airport expansion project is on pace to be completed this year and open for operation as early as next year. The development of a new passenger terminal with a capacity of more than 1 million passengers per year is the second phase of the Kumasi International Airport expansion project. The third phase of the project's scope of work, on the other hand, includes the construction of a 25,522 meters square terminal building addition, a new fire station, a new fire access road, and a new air control tower. A 9,000 square meters parking park extension, a 4,200 meters square access road extension, and two new boarding bridges are among the other projects. A 7,731 square meters apron expansion, a 202,805 meters runway strip, and an airside service road are included in the scope of construction on the airside. On the occasion of the unveiling of the Kumasi International Airport expansion project, Aishma revealed that the Kumasi Airport City project was well underway. He said he had authorized the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority to begin feasibility studies for the project, and that the Ministry of Transportation will soon release the specifications and designs for the essential facilities, as well as the cost. <music> President Nana Akufo Addo cut the sod for the airport's second phase expansion in June 2018. The $300 million project included the extension of the runway from 1,981 meters to 2,300 meters to accommodate Boeing 737 and Boeing 800, the construction of a new two-story ultramodern terminal, the addition of additional aprons, restaurants, shopping, and parking areas, and the construction of a ring road around the airport. The new terminal is expected to be able to accommodate 1 million passengers per year. The expansion project was part of the government's multimodal transportation system for the Ashanti region, which aims to boost tourism. The Ashanti regional capital of Kumasi is the busiest domestic destination, with both Passion Air and Africa World Airlines serving it. Between Accra and Kumasi, for example, Passion Air and Africa World Airlines offer 20 flights every day. According to industry data, 16,499 passengers flew between the two locations in 2019. Tourism in the Ashanti Region Tourism in Kumasi's Ashanti region accounts for a significant portion of the airport's operations. 
This is by far one of the country's most popular regions, recognized for its rich culture, tradition, and gold. Even today, the ancient kingdom of Asant remains a renowned tourist destination. Tourist attractions in the Shanti region include Manhia Palace. This palace was the seat of power of the highest chief of the Asant kingdom, Asantheen. It is located in Kumasi, the capital of the Ashanti region. Kajisha Market This is without a doubt one of Africa's largest markets. It is estimated that there are at least 11,000 stalls and that 40,000 people work there. It is distinguished by a large number of brown roofs that can be seen from afar. There are various items and goods for sale there. Entonso Adinkra Village the printing of Adinkra fabric takes place in Entonso. The prints are created with dyes and calabash stamps. At the Entonso Visitor Center, you'll learn about the people's history, their crafts, and how to produce prints. Lake Basamli. The lake was formed when an ancient meteorite hit in the Ashanti region. A hunter is supposed to have discovered the lake after chasing an antelope into it. It's thought that the lake took in the antelope in an attempt to save it from the hunter. That is why the lake is still known as Antelope God Lake. Because of this, the Ashants consider the lake to be exceedingly sacred. The settlements that surround the lake are home to over 70,000 people. With an estimated population of 4 million people, the Ashanti region is the most populated and one of the fastest growing regions in Ghana. This is one of the main reasons why the population of the Kumasi International Airport is growing by the day, necessitating expansion. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe for future updates.